Hi, my name is Martin and this is I Need Help Now Emotional Health. This is a place where I work with people to help them identify and remove emotional, mental and spiritual blocks that have been inhibiting the expression of their authentic, original and true selves. What happens when you don't engage in your relationships with your partner, with your friends, with your business partners, in your career and wherever? in your non-authentic original and true self you'll always feel like you don't belong you always feel like you are outside looking in you always feel like you're missing something it's like something is not really okay with you you'll always have feelings of inadequacy feelings of inferiority you always feel like you're not good enough you even feel that you're not attractive enough, you're not intelligent enough, you don't have what it takes to attract the right men, the right women, that your friends and other people are doing it with so much ease. So as you can see, failure to manifest in life in your authentic, original and true self is quite a big deal. So I help you fix that, I help you address what is blocking you from manifesting and once I do that you will burst forth in your authenticity, originality and true self and guess what that's the most exciting you know um, mode to engage life in when you you're in a relationship you engage like who you are you know you, there is nothing you are hiding there is nothing like you are keeping people at bay no you will engage with so much freedom so much is and that's how you become magnetic that's how you become irresistible anyone who is natural anyone who is authentic original and true they are very magnetic they are very authentic they get people excited about them in a minute in a second you go to a place and I'm not saying that you if you're an introvert you become an extrovert no I mean just being you but there's something sweet there's something romantic there's something magnetic that exudes when you're operating in your original, authentic, and true self. If you're interested, if you've been running in life and you're feeling empty, if you've had issues with marriages, with you know relationships, it's breakups after breakups, you may need to do a check on whether you have been manifesting in your original, true, and authentic self. But for today, I'd like to respond to a dilemma that I saw on Facebook and I really want to respond to it based on my experience, based on my knowledge and based on my, my practice as a life emotional coach. So the lady says, well, it hurts so bad. I shouldn't be saying this, but sometimes I feel like my life has become burdened for myself and people around me. I got nothing to offer. I've begun to dislike myself and everything that belongs to me. I'm not interested enough in anything. I feel so lonely, ugly, unloved, and worthless. I hate being alone. I hate my life. So that's a dilemma. I don't know what you can advise this woman, what you can advise this lady. For me, this is a case of low self-esteem. It's a case of inferiority complex. It's a case where she doesn't feel she's good enough she doesn't feel she's attractive enough she doesn't feel she's worth she doesn't feel she's intelligent enough to offer what the people around her need so I want to explain something that when an adult behaves like this then all roads should be leading to a childhood should be leading to a point in a life where she was forced by circumstances, she was forced by the treatment, by the experiences she was going through to adopt a survival personality. A survival personality is a way of relating with others, is a way of posturing, is a way of engagement you choose just to avoid trouble, just to like placate matters just like to appear good to them just like to please them just like to appease them so that they don't really uh, you know you don't get yourself into trouble anymore children do that time and again because as children 
you are dependent you're not independent you're vulnerable and you depend on other people to take care of of your needs so when we look at your child right now all signs are clear that you had a terrible childhood you had parents who never looked to your interest they wanted you to serve the interest and not them serving your interest so in that situ situation you felt not good enough you felt unloved you felt you know unappreciated and you engaged on an agenda to try to prove that you're good that you're intelligent that you're nice and as you as the more you ran with that script the more you're shifting away from your true original and authentic self and the frustration right now is that you've reached your peak you can no longer now continue running from yourself you have to go back to who you true are so i want to mention this that life is about you life is about what you think about you and literally it's like you don't think good about you all you need to do right now is to go back to what happened to you when you were a child and start healing that inner child and start celebrating that inner child the inner child what she needs is she wants to be seen she wants to be heard she wants to be loved so begin to acknowledge that inner girl, that beautiful girl, that spontaneous girl, that attractive girl, that you know, um, that charming girl. Begin to see her. Begin to acknowledge that she is there. Secondly, begin to hear her. Begin to hear her concerns. To begin to hear what she thinks, what she wants. You know what she feels. Begin to hear what she even wants. Uh, you know things to happen in her life. Begin, begin to interact with her because she wants to be had and most importantly love her. Uh, you know offer offer her affection offer her love offer her affirmation if you do those three things you will realize your language will begin to change and time as time goes by it will begin to be positive to yourself and uh, the more you are positive to yourself the more you talk nicely to yourself the more you see yourself, the more you acknowledge yourself, the more you hear yourself, and the more you love yourself, that positivity will begin to manifest outside and you become very magnetic. And no one can, you know, assume your presence again. So try that and let me know what it has done. Thank you and see you.